Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Hope you're all doing well. So this video is a little bit different than my other videos because um, I'm not just painting a painting, I'm also going to be using the painting in a journal spread in my Hobonichi. And so basically the idea behind this is I've been using a lot of um, collage sheets from Courtney Diaz and James Luke Burke. I love their art and their journaling styles and they're both major inspirations to me. And um, basically I was thinking, you know, I'm an artist too. So uh, even though the art that I make is usually what I consider more on the I don't even want to say fine art, but it's more like art that you would frame and put on a wall rather than go in a journal. I was thinking to myself that it might be fun to make my own collage sheets and use them in my journal because it would even make things even more personal for me. And yeah, so I was also thinking because I always have a business sense going on in my mind, I don't know why, but I was also thinking it might be fun to offer collage sheets for sale in the future and try my hand at making some. And so that's something that I'm going to be working on and I hope you guys are interested too. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is kind of the whole reason why I've gotten into art journaling because you might notice it's kind of a change from my content from a few months ago. One of the reasons that I've gotten into art journaling is because I've been in kind of not really an art block because I still want to create art, but I guess I've gotten a little bit bored with how I've been creating art for so long. Um, my style uses like a particular method to create my paintings and not in this one though. I tried a lot of um, new techniques in this painting and new materials. But um, my regular style is so pinned down and the process is so, uh, you know, one way and that's it. And I just feel kind of stuck in that. But I still enjoy creating in that way, but I really wanted to try something new and expand my horizons and try new mediums, all that good stuff. So that's kind of why I got into art journaling again. I feel like I want to tackle something new, try something a bit different, and kind of follow the journaling bug. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'd also like to merge my fine art with my art journaling somehow and mixed media and I'm still kind of figuring it all out and like I said before oh sorry for that ping <laughs> like I said before um, I always kind of have like a business sense going on in my mind so I'm always like where can I take this and make it into a business so I've been really thinking about um, making like a shop that sells like art journaling stuff like the collage sheets and um, maybe classes in the future because I have a lot that I'd love to share with everyone and um, I'd love to inspire people and yeah that would just be so awesome so I hope to maybe do that in the future and um, I'd love to make washi tapes I'd love to make stamp sets and all that good stuff and I still want to sell my art prints and um, vinyl stickers and uh, maybe even some planner stickers. I just, I'm al I always have so many ideas. <laughs> I also wanted to talk about um, some of the new things that I tried in this painting. So first off, I drew out a sketch, as I do, <laughs> and I decided, you know what, I'm not going to ink this one because inking is very precise, very fussy, and I just didn't feel that I had the patience for it. I was more in the mood to just throw paint at it and see what happens. <laughs> and that's pretty much what I did. In my regular work, I normally just use watercolor and ink and you know, a pencil sketch and sometimes a white gel pen or gouache for highlights. But in this one, I decided I'm just gonna go for it and try whatever I have close at hand. So I pretty much threw watercolor at it, um, some pencil crayon, some gouache, and uh, yeah, I just kind of went for it. And 
I'm really happy with the results. It's definitely more expressive than my usual work, which I love. And it just makes me happy looking at it because I love her expression. I feel like it's really soulful. And I love how I splattered random colors on the background and I think they look really pretty. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm just, I'm happy with it. And I definitely want to create more work like this and create um, beautiful girls and imagery for myself and others to use in their journals. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So I think now I'm just going to play a little bit of music until we get to the journaling part of the video. Now the journaling begins. So basically you can see the original painting and the printed out image on the right hand side and I also have a couple other images there that I'll talk about but basically I just um, added some uh, low opacity white lines in Photoshop to my image and printed it out on my um, Canon inkjet printer and then I taped it down and used it as a piece of journaling ephemera. I made sure to resize it so that it fit perfectly in my A5 Hobonichi and I think it just adds such a bright pop of color and you definitely couldn't get those kind of watercolor effects um, on the Hobonichi paper because it's Tomoe, Tomoe River paper and it's, it has kind of a crinkly texture to it when you get it wet and it just doesn't produce the same effects as watercolor paper. So anyway, um, one of the other things that I wanted to talk about was the Stationery Cafe podcast and um, you should definitely check it out. I will have links in my description and I'll, I'll, uh, 
<laughs> I'd also highly recommend you check out the Facebook group because it's so awesome and there's so many supportive people in there all, all sharing their work and you should definitely check it out. And so anyway, um, I only joined recently once I heard about it through Courtney Diaz and I was so surprised. I, I, was on, I was in the group and I noticed that my image was the banner of the group and I was like, holy crap, how did that happen? And then I saw down below that um, April had picked my um, image, my journal spread, to be the banner image. And I was like freaking out because that is like, to me, to me such a huge honor. And everyone that goes in that group will see my, my image on the banner. And like, thank you so much, April. You'll probably never see this video, but thank you. <laughs> So anyway, that was a huge highlight for me. And by the way, I don't really journal chronologically. I try to, but it rarely happens. So these things that I'm journaling happened yesterday, not actually on the 1st and 2nd of March. So yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, I also used uh, Ephemera from James Burke for the numbers. And the little egg dude is from Courtney Diaz. So um, then I just journaled on the page and about my feelings about all of that. And that was pretty much the end. I think I added some stars in a gold jelly roll. But anyway, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my shop link in the description. And um, let me know if you'd be interested in using some of my images as collage sheets in your journals. So yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys later, and thank you so much for watching. Peace!